Caricatures has been around for hundreds of years. And it was, uh, it was actually coined by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, he called it caricatura in Italian, and it means a uh, loaded portrait. And the guy is always my favorite Renaissance artist. And I knew this the moment I saw his sketchbooks. He used to just go to bars and exaggerate people's faces at bars. Caricature has definitely evolved in many ways over the past uh, decade. When Dexter and I first started doing characters, it was all very traditionally based. Uh, you know, you would pull the nose out a little bit, make the chin a little bigger, forehead a little bigger, ears big, and then, and then you would call it a day. And caricatures were very much limited to just the theme park industry and, you know, the guys at the waterfront that were doing it for tips. I, I feel like the art form has evolved to a point where everyone is less afraid to put their own unique spin uh, or even redefining what they feel a caricature is. There's so many tools to do caricatures with. Uh, markers, color sticks, watercolors, uh, paint brushes, and uh, the accessibility of creating digital artwork is amazing. And it's just, it's growing the craft even more in new directions. And now with the uh, advent of tablet technology, uh, it's limitless, and you can, do, you can do anything. The first event I did with digital characters was a Microsoft event. And from there, it just exploded. And uh, we did an event with Google, and we worked out all the kinks to make digital characters happen. And we uh, loved every minute of it, drawing nonstop, testing it out. It, we felt, felt like being a pioneer almost. I've done events for Microsoft, CoRaid, Intel, Dell, all these major tech companies. And every single time I do an event for these guys, they're just completely enamored in what I'm doing. It's just so beyond them, you know, because they're all left-brained, you know, they're very analytical, they deal with code all day. And as soon as they see a guy like creating a cool cartoon on a tablet PC with all the stuff that they helped develop, they're just like, you know, their minds are just blown. I have drawn, I had, I'd almost stretch to say at least half a million faces. And with the, each face you draw, there is some limited interaction. I'm not just some guy sitting there staring at you and drawing you. I'm actually talking to you. I'm trying to find out your quirks, your traits, things about your face that really help you stand out. Being able to read what somebody's thinking or at least the emotion they're experiencing gives us that opportunity to change that emotion if we want to. So a lot of people go through life, you know, just just worrying about how people perceive them, not being able to read what other people think or what other people feel, really. We have the ability to change it. Everybody has the ability to change other people's emotions, but having the sense of reading other people's emotions can certainly give you an advantage in life. My happiness now comes from passing happiness to other people. Knowing that we are giving artists an opportunity to do what they love and to make a living off of that, that that's the ultimate sign of happiness for me, man. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely happy. Yeah, no complaints here, man. <laughs> A lot of times I feel like a mentor and a teacher and I just, I really want to uh, get guys from point A to point B and that's how I see my role and what I, and what I bring to the to over the line art. I feel like I have such a connection with Seattle and it really has provided me with a living and a, a passion for life and it's given to me and now I, I feel like I want to give back.